Have you ever wanted to create a vertical divider in Elementor instead of just a horizontal divider? I found a cool little trick that doesn't require any CSS or JavaScript, and it doesn't put a border on the columns. We're actually using the horizontal divider widget to do this. It's a fun little trick, and it turns out to be really handy, and it helps correct some optical sort of illusions, uh, which I'll get into. So let's check it out. Okay, so here, here's the working demo. I have uh, three container columns, one, two, three, inside of a parent container. And the parent container is set to uh, row horizontal and no wrap. So anything I put in here is gonna just stay fitting on one line. And what I had wanted to do was to create some sort of a divider in between them. Now I'm gonna delete these dividers to show you what it looked like without them. What happens here is uh, sometimes in a three column layout, you'll notice that uh, it, one space, like the space here between these two left columns, subtly looks bigger than the space between these two. And and really, though, that they're all 33 percent wide. If I click on a, a container, you can see it's 33 percent wide. So is this one. But oftentimes you'll get into this instance where it looks like this gap is bigger and it usually has to do with just the way the text flows. So if I happen to have some words over here that are long and don't break uh, the same way as these, then I get sort of this uh, unbalanced look. So if we go to preview and take a look, it, does, it just looks a little funny, especially this happens like in a footer where you get maybe a phone number that's not very wide and then you have a text block that fills up most of its columns. So anyway, I would, I've in the past, I've done things like I will try to click on a column, go to style, go to border and set a left uh, border. So I could say I want a solid border. I just want it on the left, two pixels. And it, you know, it does, it, it does an okay job, right? Like it, but if you can see it's sort of seated more over here on this, uh, this column box because there's a gap in between. So if, if we look, if I highlight this, hover this one, you see that space in between the two columns? So really that left border is not, it's not centered. Uh, I want something that's centered. So here's what I figured out. Uh, and this, uh, this is um, the kind of thing I stumble on when I refuse to use other plugins and just try to find a way <laughs> in Elementor. So let me show you what I did. So just go look for the divider widget. There it is. I dragged it in between the two columns. And initially it's gonna look weird, right? Like it's it's a horizontal divider. Um, so I was wondering, well, there's gotta be a way to do this. So what I did is uh, I went to advance. Well, first, well, okay, yeah. I went to advance and I just set a width. So I thought, well, how wide would I want it to be? So I'm gonna say custom and I'm gonna change it to pixels and I'll do something kind of fat so we can see it. I want it to be five pixels wide. So now you can see I'm limiting the width of that widget. And uh, you can also see it sits in between those two columns nicely, uh, but it, it's not vertical. You can still see that tiny little line in there. If I make it thicker, maybe it'll be more obvious. Uh, there. So you can see there's the original horizontal one. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to show the horizontal one. So I'm actually going to just, I can zero this out. I might even zero my gap. And uh, I, I have a transparent color. I don't know if this is necessary. So now you can't see that horizontal one. I'm going to go to advanced again, go over to background. I'm just going to actually, no, I'm going to go to, to border. So I could do a background color, but I think what I'm going to do instead is a border. So I'm going to say, uh, uh, just for fun, I'll do a dotted border. And I'm just going to choose one side. So I'm going to choose the left side and I'm going to set it to the same value as the width I want. So we had said five. So I'm just going to go with five and then uh, you'll get a match, right? Because my border is five. The width of the widget is five. I can set a color. I'll use a bright color so we can see it. And look, we get this nice border that's right in between. But then uh, I'll, so I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Actually, I'll duplicate it. Right click, duplicate. Um, and then over here, I'm going to drag it in between the next two containers. So we've already got uh, like a nice effect. Now on tablet, I'm going to take a look. Yeah, maybe I can get away with three columns here, but I definitely won't be able to on the desktop, right? And you'll notice, whoa, where'd the dividers go, right? Well, in this instance, we want to go back 
to horizontal. So it's nice to know you could have, you could not show it if you wanted to, but I want to show a horizontal one. So now what I'll do is I'm going to click on my divider. I'm going to change my width to full width, 100%. And then uh, now instead of a left border, let's go down to our border. This time I, I think I could do like a top or a bottom border. Let's see if this works. Look at that. So now instead of, since it's not on the left, it needs to be running horizontally, I'll just choose the top side. Um, and there we go. Uh, so I can actually hit copy. I'm going to go down to my next divider, right click, hit paste style. So now when we look across all device sizes, looks great. And that optical alignment is a little bit better. There's still some of that going on because of the way the text flowed, but these sit truly in the center of the column. So it's superior, I think, to just putting a border on a column. Um, so handy trick doesn't require anything extra. Hopefully you find this useful. If so, please consider subscribing and telling other people about King Grizzly. Thanks so much and have a nice day.